So uh, Audience Express is underneath the Comcast advertising umbrella. And what we're doing at Audience Express is leveraging the technologies that we have underneath that umbrella uh, through Freewheel to aggregate inventory across linear cable, uh, broadcast, and digital to bring that supply to marketers. But in addition to that, we also have, we're leveraging um, viewership data from Comcast to help plan, target, and, and measure against, uh, against those campaigns to make sure that our clients are trying to reach the right audience, whether it be cross-linear cable, broadcast, and or digital. So what is the inventory primarily? So the inventory is the local cable inventory aggregated up to a national footprint. Um, similar with broadcast, we're aggregating the local broadcast inventory to a national footprint. And then the OTT inventory is accessed through our Freewheel technology, which is the primary ad server across 90% of the uh, premium digital ecosystem. Now, Chris, we've been speaking about audience targeting um, for a long time, and um, it's, it's changing. What does audience targeting mean now uh, in this upfront season? What's the expectation uh, of the marketplace? Yeah, we've seen a lot of growth over the past couple of years on how clients are leveraging data to help find their audience. Um, I think, and that's whether that's through uh, client first party data, uh, first party viewership data, and or third party syndicated segments. And I think the, the trend of audience targeting is obviously only going to grow. Um, from a linear perspective, we see clients looking to leverage their first party data to try and uh, find new network uh, day park combinations that index well against their particular audience. We have clients that are looking to leverage viewership data, first party viewership data, to measure against historical linear campaigns, to then use that as a tactic, whether it be uh, understanding exposure levels. So if I want to try and increase frequency against some of those lightly exposed networks on my previous linear campaign and or looking at that from uh, an unexposed level to try and find networks and day parts that index high that were unexposed to that previous campaign. And then from a contextual targeting, we are starting to see that uptick a little bit. I think that's also going to continue to grow, especially with the um, deprecation of cookies on the horizons and given the current data privacy regulations. So tell us about contextual, what's new, why it's important. We hear about the deprecation of the cookies, but are the tools are getting better or how do you how do you look at contextual advertising? Yeah, I think there's companies out there that are doing it well. And I think that they're I don't think advertisers are jumping in head over feet on it, just considering that the deprecation of cookies do keep getting pushed out there. And um, I think that there's not their clients still relying on that data. With audiences fragmented across more platforms and screens than ever, it's critical for buyers to find the audience where they, where they are. Advertisers want and deserve to know that their ads are reaching a genuine engaged consumer and that their investments are delivering on their specific KPIs. So I guess I would say, you know, what are the audience, what are the buyer's expectations? How have KPIs changed and how do you meet them or, or demonstrate the value of, of the buy? So it's a good question and I think KPIs have changed and I think clients are leaning in more to understand um, that they are meeting those KPIs, whether it's against reach or frequency or some type of conversion metric. And I think with the ability to um, have the transparency from the data that we have access to, whether it's viewership data, um, or, and then again, working with third party vendors to understand where uh, conversions are happening. That's allowing us to not only provide the clients with the granular detail that they need to see to understand how their campaign is performing, but then providing the flexibility um, to these clients to optimize, whether it's against linear and or OTT, whether it's again, optimizing towards a reach and frequency and or op optimizing against a, um, a KPI like conversion. Chris, tell us about the new product, the new planning tool that, that uh, Audience Express has just released. Yeah, we're super excited about this. I think it's bringing a lot of value to the marketplace. What we're doing is leveraging the viewership data that we have as being part of Comcast to utilize it for a couple different things. One is from a planning perspective, excuse me, to understand um, network and day part um, 
high indexing network and day parts for particular brands. We have the ability to utilize that data to find the exposure levels across recent campaigns, do a look back and see where there was high exposure, medium and light, and then use that as a tactic to then go and try and uh, find that audience. Um, we have the ability to leverage that data, then bring it over to the digital side, where if we're looking to suppress a particular audience, so for example, if we want to make sure we're suppressing those high exposed viewers across linear to make sure we're finding net new across OTT, we could then utilize that data to help inform that uh, tactic. And what we're, tr what we're trying to do is kind of bring transparency. So we're utilizing this data to, um, let's call it heat maps, for example, bringing, um, being transparent with a marketer and saying, hey, here's, here's based on your data segments, here's where the high indexing networks and day parts are, and then use that to inform um, their future plans. And Chris, finally, we're uh, in the middle of the upfront, um, speaking to a lot of people. What's different about this upfront or the TV marketplace more broadly that's interesting to you? I mean, we've just seen with the growth in, um, Obviously, OTT. I think it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, how this upfront plays out. I think we're in a time where marketers are tasked with doing more with less. So leveraging efficiencies from an audience targeting perspective and making sure that you're helping um, eliminate some of that waste and and find that right audience at that right time that that viewer is consuming that content. I think that's going to be a big big component of this. And I think given the current economic climate that we're in right now, I think that's going to play also uh, an impact in whether it's marketers putting more money in the upfront or holding that back from a scatter perspective.